so let's see. I brushed my teeth. I woke up. I need cereal. Cereal. Yes. Let's go. Damn. You know, I'm feeling some trick cereal. What's it, what's inside the box? This knuckle sandwich is what's inside the box. <laughs> Oh, that was just a dream. That was just a dream, okay. Ooh. Take on me. Take on me. Take me. Take on me. Take on me. Take on me.
answer the phone. <laughs> Hello? What are you talking about? This is, this is bull. This is, this is crazy. This is, there's no way this is real. Josh, just listen to me for a second, please. I, I just need to talk to you. I know for a fact this baby isn't mine. You, you, you idiot. You always do this. And I'm not going to be there for you this time. Josh, please. I need you to t understand, please. No, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. This is, this is too much. I'm done with this. I'm over. Hey mom. Honey, I'm sorry, I just cannot talk right now. I'm trying to figure out these bills. We don't have enough money and I just got fired. Okay, sorry mom. Can't talk to you later. Hey, Vivi. I figured some things out and... <gasps> what are you doing? Oh, Mom. It's not what it looks like. It's for a friend. It's for a friend. Do you really think I'm not stupid? I can't let you make all these decisions on your own. I tried to explain to you over and over again how hard it was for me when you were a baby. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I... I have to explain all of our financial situation to you and how hard it is. I've tried so hard to talk to you about this, but you're just trying to make decisions all on yourself. Hey mom, good morning. Good morning. Um, I just found some people I would like to interview for them to adopt my baby. Well, I have faith in you. If you feel like you're confident that you want these people to raise your child, then I stand by you. Okay. Thanks mom. You're welcome. Man. So, where am I taking you? Um, I'm going to this, um, woman's house. Her name's Elizabeth. She's considering adopting, so I, like, I'm gonna go over there and interview her at her house, so yeah. So, you and Josh aren't gonna... No, let's... <laughs> no, he's not in it anymore. Well, what happened? Um, he was just... He was just very upset about it and made it seem like it was completely my fault and I did it myself and that it wasn't his and it was just this whole thing and it just like, it was so annoying and upsetting. When did you guys even- Oh yeah, <laughs> we're not gonna talk about that.
I really rather not. Sorry. <sighs> you should have seen my mom's face, you know? Yeah, how did you she tell was, her? It was not the way I wanted to. And she was just so upset and so angry. And I don't know, it made me feel like a disappointment. It made me feel bad. You know, like we're struggling right now. And... This is what I have, you know? I was gonna go to college and do stuff and be able to like provide for myself. And yeah. like, that's why I'm here because she can't even provide for both of us. Barely there now, providing for three. Like, I guess she just didn't want me to end up like her, I guess. Nature is a strange thing. It can be happy or it can be sad. Sometimes it can smile and other times it can cry. Nature can be green, pink, brown. She's all we see. Every rock, every leaf, every water drop to every tree. She's all around us. She holds home to every bear, deer, bird, and all the bees. Nature loves to paint the sky blue, loves to make the leaves dance in the wind, and loves making the sea waves crash on the sand. One bright morning, nature woke up. She wanted to do something big, she said. I'll give the world tall green trees. They will grow to be something great and strong. She grew trees as big as buildings, all of them different colors and shapes. Next, nature said it wanted to create something even bigger, a sunset. So we can enjoy the magnificent view. She made clouds wander, letting them float high over valleys and hills. She creates bugs to moss and makes all kinds of rocks. Nature makes all things, but what do we give back? Open your eyes. When you look at nature, it's beautiful. But are you really looking? Anything bad you can think of has hurt nature. Pollution is ruining our planet. Can we stop it? Whose fault is it? Will it get better? We could do so much to help nature but we choose not to. We choose to ignore the problem, the suffering, thinking someone else will help. Nature has given us so much just for us to take it for granted. Why is it so hard for us to keep our world clean? To be more considerate of our environment. We need change and we need it now, or else what will we have left before it's too late? Need that paper by Monday. Okay, I will. Okay. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, whatever. I said I'm sorry. Uh, hi. Uh, Susan? Can I help you? Uh, yes, I'm, um, I'm Willow. Okay, Willow. What do you want? I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. Oh, it's fine. I haven't even thought about it. Well, I was kind of just wanted to see if I could make it up to you. Dude, I said it's fine. I know. I know. I just, please, just let me make it up to you. I'll, it's on me. Okay, if it'll make you leave me alone. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I didn't get your number. Oh. Here, here. I will text you my info the day of. Okay. Great. Great.
to date. Where exactly are we? This is Cher and Dime. They do an open mic night um, every week, and it's where I go to do my poetry and everything. You do poetry? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Something where I feel like I can actually just be myself, you know? Where do you want to sit? It doesn't really matter. Here, here. This looks good. This looks good. It's right by the stage. Uh, so, would you like uh, anything to drink or something? Um, do they have coke? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. I'll give you that right on there. Thank you. Here. So, what do you like to do in your spare time? Um, I like music. I've been practicing my guitar lately. Oh, oh really? You like music? Yeah, I mean, who doesn't? Yeah, I mean... Uh, so what type of poetry do you do? Uh, I mean... I do a lot of different stuff, but I'd say most of my poetry mostly surrounds love. You don't really believe in that stuff, do you? You don't? No, not really. I mean, love is just something people tell themselves to make their life less boring. I think love is something that anyone is truly lucky to experience. And I think if you're lucky enough to experience true love, that kind of once in a lifetime love, um, I know I'd be truly grateful. Okay, Cupid. <laughs> I mean, have you never fallen in love? No, because it's not real. <laughs> Here, how about this? You let me get to know you, the real you. You get to know me. And then, uh, let's see what you think about love. Okay, but don't say it in warn you beforehand. <laughs> okay, okay, that's fair. How are you? How was your day? I'm good. It was good. I, um, I have something for you. Really? What is it? I wanted to know if I could be your boyfriend. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. Um, Are you serious? I've never been so serious about anything before. Of course! This better be important. I'm missing my show for this.
Is everything okay? Uh, Are you okay? Can you, can you please just sit down? No, tell me what's happening, Willow. Lorelai, can you please just sit down? No. What's going on? Lorelai, 